So um, the other day, right? Um, hi everybody. This is Cici West. Um, I'm you know um coming to you because I'm just you know maybe you know looking for some um word my uh, well, here we go. words um wisdom and advice and um you know not just wisdom and advice but maybe you know some people have been through what I've been through and can understand um maybe or um empathize or you know um sympathize or um put yourself in my shoes to understand where I'm coming from and what I could be going through. The other day, I noticed that my roommate that um that I was telling you about that I was staying in the room with, um, you know, cool guy, whatever like that. But at the end of the day, I noticed when I was in the bed, you know, he just crept up. And when I turned over, I realized that, you know, he was in the bed next to me. So um, I'm feeling somebody like rubbing on my breast or whatever like that in a room because I didn't think he was coming home. I didn't know he was there. I, I, heard some, I feel somebody rubbing on my breast or whatever like that. And um, I turned around, he was like in the bed asleep, you know, like well, in the bed next to me. So I'm like, you know, push him over a little bit or whatever like that. So um today I realized that um I had like this this scent that sort of kind of you know um, remind me of him. So I'm wondering like you know I'm not screaming rape or like that. I'm not saying he did. But I'm wondering did this man touch me in my sleep? You know what I mean? Without me noticing, because I was like dog tired, been out for days. You know what I mean? Like dog tired. So you know I was wondering you know when you that tired sometimes you can get touched in sleep and not even notice it, especially if they're not you know um humongous or you know or you know um you know so you know um you know, movement with it or, you know, have so much movement with it or, you know, pounding or, you know, do, you know, doing it. They slick it up to do it whereas though you won't wake up. So I was wondering that. Then, like, the other night, I was, like, thought I was dreaming when I thought I seen, like, um, you know, the um guy that lives in, another guy that lives in the house. I thought I seen, like, you know, grabbing on my arms or whatever like that because I know I'm, like, real feisty, especially when I'm nosing certain things. And um, so last night, I realized that I, I'm two seconds. I realized that this guy was, um, I realized this guy was, you know, um, that lived in the house was at my, um, door. I'm trying to rush to talk to y'all because I have to go. You know, I don't have my own phone. So I realized he was like, you know, at my door. So I turned around her door. I turned around and I looked. He was like, oh, yeah, you gotta go downstairs and, um, and, um, clean the kitchen up or something, something towards that extent. But just the night before that or a couple of nights ago, I thought I was dreaming and thought that he was like, you know, like over time, like pinning me down or being like, you know, a little vulgar with me or like a little hostile. So, you know, I'm getting at y'all, you know, let y'all know that, you know, I'm here, but, you know, this happens to me, you know, um, periodically or, you know, every, um, you know, every so often, you know, I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. And if this message gets back um, to these guys or whatever like that and they realize it or whatever like that. And if it's the truth, the truth is that you're free. But at the end of the day, the you know, the truth hurts. You know what I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's going to stay. Thing like a, I mean, like a Same. baby is gonna stab like a knife. Same. I mean, it's gonna hit them at home. Me, it's gonna get to them where it, I mean, where it hurts. At the end money? of the day, it's gonna hit them where it hurts. Cause the truth, them, the truth, the truth hurts. Last kills.